My name is Martin Carey. I'm the System Engineering Manager with Palo Alto Networks in Ireland, and I'm here today to talk to you about SASE. First, I guess we really want to talk about why SASE, why, why people are interested in uh, Secure Access Services Edge. Um, and you know how is it relevant to customers? So I guess we're looking at a customer environment nowadays where we've got workers who are moving around. We've we've gone through you know COVID and there's been everyone moving to work from home to coming back to the office and a mix of all those things. That's one of the dynamics that that adds difficulty to securing access uh, to a corporate network. The other piece is that we see organisations move into SaaS applications. So for anything that is a common uh, function within a business, I would sort of term it infrastructure applications like HR, payroll, productivity, um, collaboration, you know, video um, and conferencing. We see organizations move into SaaS. They don't want to run workloads and want to consume data center space to run those applications. They don't allow them to differentiate themselves. They just need to consume them really as a business. And then for their own applications where they do want to differentiate themselves or they're going through transformations and evolutions, they want to be able to develop those applications that are key to their business in a more rapid fashion. So we see them moving in some cases towards public cloud to support their, their DevOps and, and their development cycles in, in a more rapid way. So we have workers who are moving around and we have applications that are now in three or four different locations. And the connectivity between the two and securing that connectivity and maintaining that security efficacy um, is what SASE solves um, for the customer. So it's providing that, that uh, a platform that they can connect remote workers to or remote networks, remote sites, and allow them access and seamless access to applications that live in multiple different locations. Um, so, you know, what they're suffering with is in a lot of cases, particularly with collaboration platforms, if they don't move to SASE is people VPN into a data center to come back out of the data center to hit a SaaS application or to support a Zoom call. And it's inefficient. It's hard to scale it, uh, as people move around, as they increase their remote workers or increase their remote networks. We also see organizations going through mergers and acquisitions. And how do they bring on those new users and give them controlled and gradual and secure access to their corporate applications?